Our next guest burst onto our TV screens and into our hearts on that reality dating show where mm -hmm. she got to choose Lee, the man of her dreams. And here to share her secrets on love, life and its challenges is the Bachelorette's sweetheart, Georgia Love. Hi, Georgia. Oh, hello. hello. What a nice hello. intro. Thank you. I know. You're a busy lady. So much happened through The Bachelorette. How mm. has this changed your life? I mean, in a lot of ways. Yeah, gosh. There, there's pretty much no aspect of my life that's the same as it was before <laughs> the show. Not just because of, of the show, but, um, I mean, beforehand I was living in Tasmania. I was reading the news uh, down there. Obviously, we're single. Yeah. <laughs> um, and since then, all of those things have changed. I'm based in Melbourne now. Um, obviously, you know, went on to, to have a different job and a different career path from there. Um, and I lost my mum um, straight after the show as well. I've got got a beautiful partner now everything everything's changed so it's really hard to pinpoint anything really it's, it's all changed yeah now you were on the cover of our magazine and you did discuss having some really tough times you just mentioned losing your mum I mean gosh you're in such a tough situation right in a show and your mum's got pancreatic cancer yeah, so when I went um, on to start filming the show was when she had just been diagnosed right. and that was one of my huge deciders in actually doing the show. Um, it really, it's, it's all the cliches. It makes you reassess your life. It gives you that moment of, oh, God, where am I? Where do I want to be? Um, so I just jumped into it. The opportunity came in, into my lap and I jumped on it and, and went and did the show and had mum's full support. Yes. Um, but then she, she went downhill much faster than anyone could have expected and um, ended up passing away literally 24 hours after the finale really? of Bachelorette went to air. So wow. Lee and I had 24 hours where we were allowed to be a couple um, and then everything changed. I was saying to Zoe before, you're one of those people that just radiates this gorgeousness. And oh. we know, we think outwardly, the, the life of a journalist is all glamour, but there's crazy hours, long hours. How do you keep a, a little bit of a beauty and balance in your life? Yeah, gosh. Well, thank you, first of all. <laughs> um, I think a lot, about, a lot of it is staying positive and not letting things get to you. And um, I make sure that in my downtime, which is probably very few and far between minutes of downtime, I do really like to take care of myself. You know, I like to, to treat myself and um, kind of, you know, eat what I want when I want and yes. things like that, but also treat my body well. And um, that goes with, you know, my, my kind of regime as well. I've got a really strict regime, yes. which sounds like a bad thing, but I say that as a positive thing. So tell me, this regime, skin, is that Palmer's? Yeah, definitely. Oh, absolutely. So I be I got involved with Palmer's because I've loved it since I was about 14. It's so good. It's so good. And it's just so, so, so good for you. I, I feel like my skincare regime at the start and the end of the day, I don't need to, you know, go to a day spa and have that beautiful full day experience because mm. I love what I use on my on my own skin. And honestly, they've got the most beautiful face care range, which I'm obsessed with. And um, and I'm always, always, always getting compliments on my on my soft skin because the body Come oil. Mm. Oh, oh, yes. That's why I said yeah. you radiate the gorgeousness. Wow. <laughs> it's actually just the oil. Yeah, yeah. Talking about oil. <laughs> okay, talking about gorgeousness, your hair. Oh. It's always zoom, you know. <laughs> and how, is that like a lot of pressure to have beautiful hair? Like, how do you keep it beautiful? Well, the, the funny thing with my hair is I always, thank you, I, when, when people compliment me on my hair, they go, oh, you're so lucky, your hair's so good. My hair's not naturally good at all. It's really, really curly, it's really coarse. No! So I have to do have so afro. much to it. Yeah, I know I do. I do like a Brazilian straightening treatment <laughs> when I was younger. <laughs> but because I, I work in TV, I do so much to it. I use so many heat products, like yeah. blow drying and straightening every day. So I have to do so much work to my hair to keep it good and, and put a lot of protein in it. We, Palmer's actually, we have a um, deep conditioning protein pack, which is just a lifesaver because my hair would just be broken and, and brittle and dry if I didn't look after it Please like do a news bulletin one day with the frizz. I won't. I won't. <laughs> hey, look, no pressure. Tim Robards got married a couple of weeks ago. Oh. Sam Woods had a baby. Georgia Love, update. Please, <laughs> leave her alone. Lee and I are uh, fine and happy okay. and great, and we have a cat, so yeah. <laughs> that's enough for now. That's your exclusive. So nice to see you. Thanks for coming in. Thank you so much.